The winter of 78 found me living in my van out behind the mission in Wichita, Kansas. One night in late December, the bitter cold drove me out of the van and into the mission. 35 mile an hour winds had dropped the temp to a minus 20. It was killing cold. I left the mission at sunup and cut down the alley to St. Francis and headed for work. As I rounded the corner, I saw Jim sitting on a gas meter that was covered by a snow drift. He was holding a bottle of Annie Green Springs I'd seen him with the night before. And Brother Tommy had an ironclad rule, no booze in the mission. Now Jim could have stashed that jug, but he was afraid one of the other boys might find it. So he made his choice. He would stay out and brave the cold and snow to make sure he got it all. Hey Jim, you're out awful early this morning. But Jim didn't answer. He was gone. Sometime in the night, he froze to death, sitting straight up, eyes wide open, still clutching the cherished treasure he just gave his life for. He had a big grin on his face, as if he was happy with the trade. His frozen hands Everything that Jim adored All the things Jim was living for What he wanted, all he needed How he hungered and thirsted for more That bottle, that jug That dirty brown bag he thought was the best one he'd ever had. Now it was the one thing he could never let go. Paramedics arrived and were going through his pockets as I watched the grizzly scene unfold. He was sitting with his back leaning against the mission, where inside he'd been safe and warm. Across the alley was the back door of the broken wheel bar, the other form of refuge in his life, and the last thing Jim ever saw. The tragic irony of it all, the boys all call that jug antifreeze because it keeps you from freezing. Because it keeps you from caring that you're freezing. Life's darkest alley, it's not you will 